family, how is your prayer life? How life can be difficult and there can be a lot of things that come into our life to discourage us. But in this parable of Jesus, Jesus is teaching that no matter what comes our way, we should keep praying to God because he absolutely will answer us. Now take a look at Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected men. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice, so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The first thing Jesus says in this parable is that we should always pray. Now someone might say, well, I'm too busy to pray. And a person who has cultivated a habit of prayer would answer that comment with, you're too busy not to pray. God wants to hear from us. He is our loving Heavenly Father who wants to answer our prayers. But in order for God to answer our prayers, we need to be praying. Notice how Jesus describes the judge in this parable. He neither feared God nor respected man. In other words, Jesus is describing this person, this judge, as morally bankrupt and wicked. Now, it is important for us to know that Jesus is making a contrast between this wicked judge and God. God, who is always good. The widow kept coming to the judge and saying, give me justice. Now, initially, the judge refused to give the widow justice. But the judge thinks, because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice. Uh, the word for bother is a word that means to hit under the eye or to give someone a black eye. So the widow just keeps pounding away at the judge. And finally, he relents and gives her justice. When Jesus says, hear what the unrighteous judge says, he is saying, get the point of this parable. The judge in the parable is wicked, but God isn't. God is good and loves us and desires to answer our prayers. So keep praying. Lastly, this parable ends with Jesus saying, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Now, remember, according to the Bible, the second coming of Jesus is going to happen at the end of the tribulation. And the vast majority of the population of earth during that time will be following the Antichrist. And so Jesus says, of that time, will I find faith on earth when I return? And he is acknowledging the fact that there will be few believers on earth during that time compared to the entire population of the planet. But the answer to Jesus' question of will he find faith on earth is definitely yes. There will be believers on earth at that time, at the time of his return. And why should you pray to God and keep praying to God? Well, it's because God loves you. Well, God bless you. I'll see you next time.